Hello, Jessica Frost Bellis here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm a stop on the Honeybee Stamps YouTube hop celebrating the newest spooktacular release. I'm sharing a Halloween card with minimal stamping and lots of ink blended and Copic colored die cuts. So let's get started. First I've die cut the Raven from A Little Spooky and the Fright Night Circlescape from White Cardstock. I add a little temporary adhesive to the back of the Fright Night Circlescape sky and adhere it to a piece of scrap paper. Then I use blending brushes to apply Distress Oxide ink over the sky. I use Uncharted Mariner, Chip Sapphire, and Black Soot Distress Oxide ink and blend back and forth between the colors until my sky is deep and dark and perfect for Halloween. Next I blend antique linen, scattered straw, and dried marigold randomly over the moon. Then I use hickory smoke and black soot for the ground pieces. I use a light hand with black soot for one of the ground pieces and a heavier hand for the last one. Off camera I die cut a piece of black glitter cardstock for one of the ground pieces. Next I color my raven with Copic markers. I use Y17 and 19 for his beak and feet, neutral grays for his body, and then E70s for the branch and tree from Fright Night Circlescape. I also use a little E49 as my darkest shade for the trees. Once I'm done coloring and blending, I set all those pieces aside while I work on the rest of the card. I stamp and heat emboss a sentiment from Hocus Pocus onto the bottom of an A2 panel of black cardstock. I use an anti-static powder tool before embossing to make sure I won't have any stray embossing powder, and then I rub off the excess powder with a dry microfiber cloth once I'm finished embossing. I die cut a circle of black cardstock slightly smaller than the Fright Night Circlescape and apply adhesive all over it. Then I line up the pieces of the Fright Night Circlescape and press them into the adhesive. I prefer adhering all the pieces together first and then adhering one circle to my card panel instead of trying to make sure that everything is centered one piece at a time on my card panel.
After the circlescape is assembled, I adhere it to my panel and add the raven with foam mounting tape for a little extra dimension. Off camera, I use a white gel pen to add the stars to the sky and finish the card with a tiny blood red gem for the raven's eye. And that's it! Find more information on the products I used in the hop in the video description below or over on my blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!